Hey, this is Full Game Prometheus giving you another full game recap. Once again, if you're new to my channel, make sure you go ahead and hit the subscribe button, also the notification icon. Rolling again uh, with the New York Jets is my playbook on offense and defense. And switching up the team, I uh, decided to switch over to the San Francisco 49ers. They got fairly good uh, defensive players, some good speed players on offense, and some really just a well balanced team. And that's one of the reasons why they're one of the better teams in the league. So um, I actually was still trying to set up a defense, and he, he caught me, got me in the wrong defense right there uh, against a run. So I'm able to go ahead and get in the right defense and actually go ahead and shut him down for a one yard gain. And he comes out in a uh, basically passing formation, and I hit him with the uh, basically the nickel blitz, um, uh, basically that one four six uh, dime blitz that's very popular online. I uh, he I think he you know huddled again, so I came back with the blitz again. He actually does a nice little slip screen, but because I have good defenders out there, uh, they're able to go ahead and bottle it up. And the rare unicorn of John Madden, a punt. Yes, actually, is a really good decision for him uh, to make a punt on that particular play because. If he gave me a short field and I scored a touchdown, he didn't really learn anything about my offense and how to shut me down. So uh, it was a good decision to punt the ball away, even though he, you know, in this game, most people don't really punt. So right there, uh, he gets a nice little block shed with his uh, defender. And he's able to go ahead and get get me sacked uh, for a third and eleven. So I just come uh, with a little corner out, motion the guy out, try to motion him out, s quick snap the ball, and actually come down with a nice reception by Samuel. So Samuel is able to come down with it right there and get me a completion and I go right over the top against against this user and I'm able to come down with it uh, with my tight end so that was actually a really good play right here uh, I think right here I'm actually trying to work um, basically a counter play I missed my hole I actually had a nice little hole on the inside I just got to go back to it and here's another play I actually throw into the scheme I'm looking to the slot receiver because he's gonna get really good separation but he takes away my passing lane I got to settle down uh, underneath and as you can see I had multiple uh, guys in one area so that really was in the best situation and here I get away with one I actually threw right in his user I get the animation and actually come down with it so I got I got a, a pretty lucky one and uh, because I was actually getting the ball um, because I, I got a turnover I decided to go for it I didn't really like the field position and throw another uh, ball right off the sideline look at the animation right there I get throw it uh, into a defender and still get away with it so that's one of the advantages of playing in the, with the better teams uh, in Madden and with regs is that you're gonna get these those those fluky little animations where you make plays opposed to playing with a bad team where if you if you make a bad read or bad decision you're usually gonna give up a turnable uh, turnover or you're gonna get a ball bat, batted down not the type of stuff that you get when you actually play with a good team so uh, he actually checks down and go into cover four. I think he you know huddled uh, once again. I jumped into a man coverage just to try, try to change things up. And he jumps into a bubble screen. Bubble screens are very, very good against the 34 odd um, if you're not prepared for it. So I think he no huddled again. Uh, and this time I actually jump into cover three. I, th I think I'm trying to go with hard flats. He actually runs the ball right up the middle. I'm able to go and bottle him up. So he, he doesn't really have much of a running game once I got into the 34. So that actually opened things up a little bit for me. So he actually goes to um, a corner route, but uh, Sherman's able to come down or basically make a play. Once again, he's in a three wide receiver set. I, I, I dial up uh, the 146. Uh, uh, the uh, blitz right there he throws right to my user and I'm able to go and pick it off get past his lineman and Quan Alexander is just trucking along uh, it looked like he was slowing down a little bit but I'm able to go ahead and get it in the end zone going up two scores to nothing so feeling pretty good right now he takes off this quarterback this is one of those one of those aspects of the game that if you, run, you play against a guy that has a mobile quarterback uh, that's something you got to account for. So then he comes right back to a nice little inside zone, picks up some pretty good yards, and right here um, actually throws and tests my uh, over-the-top coverage. I'm gonna get, I get a nice little SWAT animation, go and knock it down. Third and fourth situation, try to with the blitz again. He gets a poor animation. He actually throws it into the sideline, and he settles for three. You know, is that the right call? Yeah, you might as well. I uh, take the points when you get a chance. It's gonna it's gonna help out. So he kicks off to me and look at this we're gonna play right here. I get a really good blocking, nice seal blocking, and my running back is off the races and I'm able to go up with another score. 21 to 3 uh, on a kickoff. You know, those are rare to get as kickoff returns, and when you do get them, they're really, they do change the tide of the tide of the game. So, right here, I come in a, a running set and decided just to change things up a little bit. I'm going to pass.
pass. Uh, I probably could have hit a bigger route if I would hit the tight end going back the opposite direction, but it didn't go that way. And right here, I'm looking down to the check down. He covers it, and so he comes back to the crosser. Good read with him manually, uh, but his user just doesn't make a play right there. Jump into an inside zone because he just really didn't have a lot of guys in the box. I'm able to go and pick up some pretty good yards with Coleman right there. So down to about three minutes left. Nice little pitch play to the outside. Got some pretty good blocking. I think I pick up about four yards on that, that play right there. So back to the inside zone. My goal right now is because I'm up by three scores, I just want to chew the clock as much as possible and basically ice this guy. Uh, and then I come into the bunch set and I wait for the crossing play with the tight end. And Kittle's such a good elite tight end. He's going to get in front of the ball and make an elite play. So I'm able to go up 28 to 3 against my opponent. Usually guys will check out by now, but this guy actually was he he played. He you know he he, he made made an effort. So right here get a nice little SWAT animation by my defensive back. Second and ten situation. I go back in the man coverage. I think he just caught me at the you know I started uh, you know, when, when you start really beating someone, you start playing around with your formations, and I, I decided to go ahead and man him up just to see how he react to it. And this guy was fairly patient. He was he basically went into a play action right here. He actually threw right at the guy. I was actually I pulled myself off on that guy right there, so that was a good read. Um, go into uh, this is an Oki roll blitz out of that one four six dime package, and I try to take the way to the middle of the field, and he actually takes off this quarterback and makes a good play. And I'm thinking he's going to dive right there, but he doesn't, and he takes it up and then actually goes ahead and um, it dives right there to go ahead and take it down. So once again, back to the Oki roll. Um, I'm playing off the left, so I don't have the, uh, the run off the left, and it actually makes a good dot. Good decision to go ahead and get the ball down into the end zone so you get a touchdown. So 27 to 16, he's, he's basically at, he's two scores away. Um, if he stops me, he's feeling pretty good. This is a nice little inside zone out of that bunch formation. I like the seal blocking with this, and actually with that 49ers team, um, the, the, their, their linemen are really, really good. Once again, nice little seal. Miss the hole. Actually, run into my my tackle, but I'm able to go pick up uh, pick up some yards right there. And with that, my opponent actually quits out because I was milking the clock. So once again, my subscribers, thanks for your support. I really appreciate, it, guys. I'll be rolling out more offensive and defensive tips to take your game to the next level. Thanks a lot. Until next time.